Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today, recording from my own garden because last night I went to uh, Cafe Del Mar with my daughters. Huge party, DJ Fisher, you know, from losing it. <clears throat> a really cool party with a lot of cool friends. A little bit tired, so I'm doing a beautiful video from my beautiful garden so I don't need to drive to the beach in the hot sun because the summer started here now in Thailand. The sun is back. Guys, in today's video, five amazing Bitcoin jars, a beautiful trading tip, a travel tip, of course, some live advice, of course, talking about the news because something happening again with the SEC and Kraken. And of course, yes, let's celebrate together because Bitcoin is 40K. Bitcoin is 40K. Bam. Let's jump into the charts first. The first chart for today, guys, is this beautiful uh, chart on the four hour um, every candle is for hours. Of course, we had already with the indicator set up a beautiful buy signal over here with a purple candle closing above the other stepping line. The green was beautifully started. Uh, the green line was not on top. That's the only like thing that I didn't like. But you look, this uh, white line started to turn up. The blue line crossing that white line. Triple confirmation, beautiful trade. If you would have taken it, for example, a little bit late over there, uh, you would still be like 4.4 or now even like 5.8% in profit. Um, do you exit this trade because you see a sell signal here? That's the question. No, because there's no candles closing down below the other stepping line. There is a lot of green here in the bottom there. So uh, the white line and, and the blue line still pointing upwards. So this is like not a valid sell signal, but there is a huge area of resistance we can see on the left side over here, but we can see also that we are breaking that resistance. So that could lead to a pump all the way up to 44K, maybe even like 48K before we see a pullback. And yes, I believe there will be a pullback, guys. Like always, uh, the price retraces after a massive run. Zoom out to the weekly, guys. On the weekly chart, uh, we can see exactly the same playing out and um, that we already saw on the daily chart. We are seeing this bullish cross happening almost and it will happen somewhere here in January 2024 we will see a weekly golden cross look we can see the date on the bottom guys so don't think it's like gonna take one or two days it's gonna take a whole month before we see this cross it is a little bit lagging behind because we already saw a pump but it's also indicating hey that we are a very bullish market and the moment that the green line starts to bound, uh, bend back again in the future yeah that could be the reversal RSI is a little bit topping out over here that we see this before yes we saw it over here a very long period and it stayed above it but there will be a correction guys there is always a correction we create a beautiful uh, high over here a higher high um, over there guys a higher low over here also beautifully now we are creating another higher high and there will be somewhere again a new higher low will it be around 32k will it be somewhere around 35k because there is an indication that we could never retrace below 25k again because of the cost of mining. Um, but let's see, very bullish moments. Zoom out to the monthly. Yes, again, that beautiful chart I've been sharing now for years with you guys. Uh, perfectly where we should be. That orange line did cross that blue line, like I've been telling you. And every time when it happened, we saw a very bullish move. Bull here they crossed, bullish move. Here they crossed, bullish move. Here they crossed, bullish move. Between 40 and 50k, I believe, around that halving. Very cool charts. Let's jump into some other amazing charts, guys. And um, the first one would be then this is the first chart, guys. Very beautiful chart that is showing us, yes, that the US liquidity is uh, increasing massively over here. Bam, liquidity increasing. And what is the Bitcoin price doing? Increasing every time when that liquidity of the US market increases, we can see a huge run in Bitcoin every time again again huge runs in bitcoin so yes we see liquidity increasing we will see another bull market and the last chart for today guys yes is this one the beautiful rainbow chart i'm not referring to the rainbow colors that you all refer to because i don't give a fuck about all those rainbow colors uh, for me it's just a natural thing state uh, still uh, a rainbow in the sky and for me it's also a beautiful uh, bitcoin chart why a bitcoin chart because we now just left that beautiful area here of the fire sale you should have been buying. We're now entering here accumulate and still cheap, but there will be a moment uh, we will enter those yellow and those orange areas, which will be the top. And that top that could be way above 100K. This is the 100K level. So um, don't be fooled because that 100K level is here. Uh, let, me, let me draw it. 
the one and k that is there, so we should read there uh, to reach one and k, and that's like in the darker yellowish area. If we overperform and we go into the orange area, we might have all the way end up at 200 or 300 k. But the most important thing that I want to show you about this chart is that in the next bull cycle, we are talking about 27, 20, 28 over there, the bear market, in my honest opinion, will be 2024, 25. But then that next cycle, that blue fire sale will be way higher than this level that we had here, 16K. That will be, I think, around 40 to 50K. And then that green area that we are now in will be already around 100K if we keep following this beautiful rainbow chart. That were the chart for today, guys. I'm starting to sweat. It's hot and I'm tired um, because I drunk too much again yesterday, but still doing my job for you guys. So let's jump into the next part. A little bit more shadow, guys. Yes, it's bloody hot now there in the sun. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed these charts. The charts again showing you, of course, what I've been telling you now already for months and years and weeks. Just dollar cost average into Bitcoin. You should be buying Bitcoin every single day all the way till the halving of 2024. Yes, in my honest opinion, we can even see a price to 41, 44, and maybe even 48K before we see this pullback. And if that pullback would be 20 to 30% from 48K, we would stay above 35,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. We are living in amazing times. Bitcoin is going back to where we should be with Bitcoin. And of course, some of you didn't listen and some of you didn't buy around that beautiful dip at 16,000 US dollar, the bear market bottom. But don't worry, even if you buy at 40K, you can still double your capital between now and 2025. And then the next time, maybe then you understand that you should listen and buy the bear market bottom. But congratulations to all of you that did buy the bear market bottom and then now almost tripled your capital already, like in less than a year. How beautiful is this? This is the best performing asset in the last decades. Everyone should be part in investing in this asset. Now, let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, is, of course, again, about uh, candlestick patterns. Last week we did that and we are going to continue this week because there's so many patterns that you need to understand. Now, the trading tip for today is about three white soldiers and three black crowds. I don't know why they call them white soldiers because it's about green candles. And I don't know why they call them black crowds because it's about red candles. But when you have on the daily chart, I'm only using this on the daily, I'm not using this one on smaller time frames. But if you use this one on the daily chart and you can see three consecutive days of big, long green candles with big, large bodies and small wigs, that are three white soldiers, just like you see over here in the image. These three white soldiers, when they happen after a very strong bearish moment, so we had a very strong bearish moment, and then you see these three soldiers, that is an indication of the reversal of the market. There's an indication to put your longs or your buy orders in. The opposite, after a very strong run, like a very strong run all the way up, green candles, then you get three black rows, which are three consecutive red long body candles following each other up, dropping lower and lower, lower, small wicks, preferably, that is the moment that there is a reversal, a bearish reversal. So these two setups, the three white soldiers and the three black rows, are beautiful indications after a strong run or a strong move downwards that there will be a reversal in the market. The trading tip for today Go to the charts, look at the charts, and try to spot a few situations on the daily chart where you find three white soldiers or three black crowds and then see what happened to the market. Let's jump into the travel tip. The travel tip for today, guys, is that when you travel to a country, for example, Thailand, try to learn a few simple phrases like Saudi Cup. Or like, for example, if I open my videos in Thailand, I should say Sawadi Ton Chao, which means good morning, like good morning, Sawadi Ton Chao. Or, or Sabadi Mai, how are you doing? And then you say Sabadi, for example, good. So my name, Didi, means good, good. D is good in Thailand. So if you learn these like simple phrases, like Sawadi Ka, 
Kap Kun Kap, thank you, uh, you already will see a smile on the local people because they feel that you're appreciating their language and that you're trying to speak with their language. So that makes them smile and that makes directly a beautiful open contact and a beautiful open conversation. And maybe they will educate you a little bit more and more. I think the Thai language is a very difficult language to learn uh, because every word can have like different meanings when you like it pronounce them different, like D or D or Sa or Su or whatever. It's very difficult, but at least you can try. And just the basic things, everyone can learn them, of course. Maybe counting from one to ten, they will be pleased to see you order like three oranges. Like, I don't even know how to count to ten, sorry. Nong Sim Sam, no Song Sim Sam, I don't even know. I think Sam is three, I don't know for sure, but it's very nice if you learn a few phrases. Like, for example, in Spanish or in Portuguese or in Thai, to just invest a little bit of time in teaching yourself a couple of phrases that will give those people a smile when you use those phrases in those countries. That was a travel tip for today. If you want to open the conversation, teach yourself a couple of simple phrases. Let's jump into the next part. The news for the day is of course Bitcoin is 40k, but the other news for the day is of course the SEC is again making a lawsuit, rebuilding their lawsuit against Kraken. Kraken is one of the most reliable big exchanges out there. Yes, United States exchange, but Kraken is a very reliable exchange I've been using already since 2016, 17 guys. Now, uh, the SEC is now rebuilding the lawsuit and they are going to lose this lawsuit again. And why they are going to lose the lawsuit is because the SEC really doesn't understand what crypto is. They are comparing all cryptocurrencies, even those with a utility, to traditional securities. And that's the most stupid thing I have ever heard because they don't look like securities because they have a utility and the rest of them is trying to copy money. So why would you treat them as a very traditional security? It's like the most stupid thing that you could do as a SEC. So they are trying to fight Kraken. They already lost one court case and they are going to lose the second court case again because Kraken is doing everything perfectly right. They are not trading securities. They are trading some cryptocurrencies and some tokens that have a utility. Stupid, very stupid in my honest opinion, what the SEC is doing, and I mentioned a lot of bad luck with doing so. And the second thing that I really don't like about this is that they want to have so much control on everything in the market. I did not like reaching a little bit too far now into the control of the cryptocurrency market. Are they the government? Are they like the police? Are they the tax company? Are they above all these? That they have so much power to try and stop the evolution of this new technology? Very strange that they have so much control. I thought they were just there to regulate a little bit the monetary system for the United States dollar. But now what they are doing, I boo, by far overreaching in my honest opinion what they should be doing. So let me know your opinion about the SEC. What do you really think about the SEC? Do you really think they should have so much control on everything that has to do with like, assets? And should we in Europe even give a fuck about what they want for the United States? Why is there always so much news about the SEC? Well, it's only about the United States. There is more to this world. We have Europe, we have Africa, we have Australia and all these other countries in Asia. They don't give a fuck about the SEC. So why are we always pushing that news about that SEC? I just really want to know your opinion down below the video. Let me know in the comment what do you think about the SEC and two, why do we give a fuck about the SEC if we have our own countries? So for the next part, guys, should be the question of one of the followers, but there were no questions yesterday, so I need to talk about something else. So the thing that I'm going to talk about now is very short. If you want to ask me anything you want 24-7, you should join the VIP members. Then you don't need to ask the questions down below the videos and hope that one of your questions will be answered. You can just ask these questions to me directly in our VIP Telegram group, where I'm active all day. So if you ask a question, I will be responding. Trading related, life related, blockchain related, whatever it needs to be related. That's why we created a VIP Telegram group with all the VIP advantages. Because I want to build a very strong educational VIP group. Because I think as an entrepreneur, 
already run companies for many years, then went all into Bitcoin, started mining Bitcoin in 2013, then started to travel the world as a digital nomad family already now for almost eight years, I have some experience to share. And I'm very happy to share that experience with all those VIPs on a daily basis. Make use of my knowledge. And yes, I'm monetizing my skills, and that is what you should be doing as well, instead of working for a boss. So I know people will say, no, yeah, you're just asking money. Yes, because I invested a shitload of time in accumulating all those qualities, skills, and knowledge. And of course, I ask a little bit of money for you being able to ask me questions on a daily basis and interact with a shitload of other members that also have the same thoughts and ideas about Bitcoin, blockchain, and life. That's why I created a VIP membership. So if you want to ask me anything you want, join the VIP members today. You will find all the information on thebitcoinfamily.com and uh, hopefully see you soon in one of the VIP groups and also the Signal group. Yes, in November, again, almost 10% profit on all the trades we did. Beautiful. So see you soon. Let's jump into the next part. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> and the next part, guys, of course, the inspirational part. The inspirational part for today is uh, breaking down something that you perceive as very difficult. A lot of people want to change life or want to change their hobby or want to change their job, but they find it difficult to do it. So my simple three steps are this. First, start to do what is only necessary. Then second, start to do what is possible. And then three, before you know it, you're doing the impossible, at least what you thought was impossible. So just start with step one, doing only what is necessary. And then from there, you will start to do what is possible. And when you're doing what is possible, before you know it, you're doing the impossible and you achieved your goals. So it's all just beginning with the number one step, doing what is necessary. And if you're too lazy to do what is necessary, then forget it. But if you really want to change, or really want to educate yourself, or really want to learn something new, or really want to invest in something, whatever it is in life, start to do the necessary, then the possible, and then automatically you will find yourself doing the impossible, at least what you thought was impossible. Short but powerful, but I need to uh, hydrate and get water today, guys, because I had a lot of alcohol yesterday. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, then please give the video a thumbs up, uh, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. I hope the sound was stereo today. Last time I had a wrong setting on the new DJI setup. Hopefully it's now stereo. Also leave me a comment about the quality of this new setup, the Osmo DJI Pocket uh, 3 uh, with this new DJI mic. This is an improvement. For me, I really like working with this because I can move around and it's following me. It's like I have my uh, personal camera crew and all that stuff, but I hope the quality 4K is also um, good enough for your screens and everything, guys. Uh, I wish you an amazing Monday. Hopefully see you back tomorrow, uh, Tuesday. And yes, tomorrow, hopefully, Bitcoin, Beach and some booty. <laughs> Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye.